Oh, I'll treasure it. Always. Ooh, I, mm, I, I, I love it. Yeah, I, yes, I love it. Oh, Grandma, you shouldn't have. Yes, perfect. Green Tree Ball gift certificates. Always just right. <laughs> Hello, and how you do? It's been a minute, but we're gonna get right back into it. This is Green Tree Mall. This is a mall I stopped by on my trip down to Clarksville, Indiana. This mall was opened December 24th, 1968. It was named after a large boundary of tree of considerable age that once stood at that location. Well, currently there are 80 inline stores and two major anchor stores, Dillard's and uh, JCPenney's. The third anchor store was Sears, which closed in October 1st, 2017. And the mall is managed by Centennial Realty. The first store to open at the mall was Sears, while the rest of the mall opened for business in 1968, including a J.C. Penney's and a Danner's Dime Store. The mall was sold to a New York firm in 1977. J.C. Penney and Sears remain at their original location, and Dillard's anchors the back annex. The first Texas Roadhouse opened in 1993 and continues to operate today. Ben Snyder's department store was original. Anchor, when Hesh's purchased Ben Snyder's chain, the company built a new store instead, and the former Ben Snyder's location became a food court. Hesh's store is now a Dillard's. The food court proved unsuccessful and was later known as Tumble Station before becoming a martial arts school in 2016. The mall was owned by a Santa Monica, California company, Mazurk, until June 2013. Mazurk acquired the Green Tree East area in 1989, which now 
has Burlington Coat Factory, TJ Maxx, Fazoli's, Burger King, and Arby's. Mazurk sold them all in June 2013 to CBL Properties. It was sold again to Centennial Realty in 2021. On July 7th, 2017, it was announced Sears would be closing as part of the plan to close 43 stores nationwide. The store closed in October 2017. At the time of this recording, it was Friday evening, so it definitely looks like this is still a bustling little mall here.
Yeah, Dilworts was absolutely massive. Well, like a dummy, I did not get a lot of the outside recorded, so I will instead have some parts pulled up from Google Maps, or Google Street View. But yeah, thank you for joining me on this little tour of Green Tree Mall. Coming up, I will also have a video on the former River Falls Mall, which is interesting enough, right across the street from uh, Green Tree Mall. And the uh, Bass Pro, it pretty much took up like, a big portion of the mall, and you can still see some of you know some of the remnants of what you can definitely tell like the mall was there before. It's it's interesting. Well, yeah. Uh, look out for that in the future. I'll see you later. Thank you for joining me. And I will start getting some more malls here soon. See ya.